check this out. I am playing Assassin's Creed 2, a game that does not support controllers by default with an Xbox 360 controller. I am not controlling this game with my keyboard, my mouse, or anything else. It's entirely being done with the Xbox controller. If you want to find out how to do this for Assassin's Creed 2 or any other game for that matter, stay tuned. Alright, so the first step is to find the GitHub repository for Antimicro X. So just go to a browser of your choice and type in Antimicro X. And the first link should be from github.com. Go ahead and click on that. And then on the bottom right, you should find the releases section. And when you head over to this section right here under the release notes, you'll find the installers for all different platforms. You're probably running Windows, so go ahead and install the default installer, which will be this .exe file right here. In your downloads folder, you should be able to find the installer. Go ahead and double click that and accept this little pop-up. And in here, just go ahead and click next, agree to the terms, and just keep all the defaults, and just click next until you're done with the installation. So once you get to this screen, go ahead and click finish, and now Antimicro X has been installed to your machine. Before we continue, uh, make sure that your controller is connected via Bluetooth or wire connection or whatever you're using. Um, if you're using Bluetooth, you should be able to head over to your settings, go to Bluetooth and devices on the left right here, and make sure that your controller is connected. If it's not, you'll probably have to put it into pairing mode, click on add device, and connect the controller. It's not that difficult. If you need any help, uh, there's tons of tutorials out there. Once you're ready, you can open Antimicro X. It should be under desktop. If it's not, you can probably find it under the search menu and open it up. If you've opened it before, it might actually open down here in the notification tray area. So just find that icon and double click it to open Antimicro X. Once you open it, you'll see this interface and it should automatically detect your controller. You can check whether or not your controller is detected by clicking or uh, rather pressing the buttons on the controller and seeing whether or not Antimicro X can register them. If that works, you're ready for the next step. Once everything is working, go ahead and find the controls for the game you're trying to play. I'm trying to play Assassin's Creed using my controller, and if you actually view the menu right here in the screenshot, you can see how the buttons are mapped. In other words, my left joystick, I want that to take over the part of WASD, and so I'll map it accordingly. The way you do that is by clicking on the key you want to map a keyboard key to, so in this case, for walking forward, I'll use my left stick and I'll click on the top key right here, which says no key, and type in W on my keyboard. And down here you can see that it's been registered. Close out of that. Then I want to go back using S, so I'll click on that, close it down, A for left, and D for right. And now actually, if I go into a browser, you'll see that these buttons are now, that I'm pressing on my controller, are mapped to WASD. So that's a really good way of checking whether or not your mappings work. Make sure to follow that procedure for every single button that you're trying to remap. And once you've done that, go ahead and save this profile. So I've actually already gone ahead and saved it to a directory called profiles right here. Um, you can call whatever you want. I'll just call it AC for example and now it's saved. And so if you want different schemes, controller schemes for different games, you can just go ahead and uh, save them to a location and then load them um, depending on what game you play. So that's really useful. Alright, so once you've configured your controller and saved it to a configuration file, go ahead and minimize out of the application. It's important that you minimize it and you don't accidentally close it. Also, if you ever need to pull the application back up, you'll find it in your system tray, which can be accessed down here. And if you just double click on the Antimicro X icon, you'll get the application. 
anyways with that out of the way go ahead and open your game launcher um, Steam or whatever you're using and find the game that you want to play I'll be playing Assassin's Creed 2 so let me launch right into the game I'll go right into the story mode and pick up where I left off. Now keep in mind, I am not doing this via keyboard and mouse. I am entirely controlling this with my controller. So these are the buttons that I just mapped on Antimicro X. And this should work just fine for you if you've mapped everything correctly. Thank you for watching. If I have helped you out in any way, please do me the favor of liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing it, leaving a comment letting me know what you think, and hitting the bell in order to catch future helpful videos. Also consider watching one of my other useful videos such as the one currently on screen. Thank you and until next time.